guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today, a quick video about how to print URL barcodes using Ptouch Editor, which is Brother's uh, labeling software. Uh, if you buy a label maker from Brother, uh, you'll probably get a license to Ptouch. And it's a great little piece of kit. Um, I'm using it in a Windows VM because there's just nothing as good in the world of uh, Linux. So what I did here is I pasted a, 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 a URL of an item in my inventory manager. I'm using Homebox Inventory Manager, it's great. So I'm just gonna copy that onto the clipboard. Now what you want to do is go into Insert and then go into Barcode. And what you want to do here is firstly choose your symbology. Now the reason you want to do this first is if you put your input here and then choose your uh, symbology, it's gonna tell you to wipe it if you change it. So barcode symbologies are basically the different barcode protocols as they're called here. And if you want to do a URL barcode, not everything is gonna work. For instance, code 39, if we put a URL there, we're gonna get a gigantic, gigantic, gigantic barcode. Even editing this into something small, it just does not work. Um, so let's go back here and let's choose a different uh, symbology. So the ones that are appropriate for URLs, um, in my experience so far in this, firstly, you have your classic QR code. That's kind of the most popular choice these days. And if we just input our text here, will no problem get a QR code. And uh, you can, one dimension here is fixed because it's the label size, but I can expand like this and expand the size of my QR code. Now something worth worth no, worth knowing about Brother Label Editor is that in the barcode properties here, firstly, this is how you can connect it to a database, uh, but you can also change a little bit the type of uh, barcode for each of these. So for example, there is a few different models saved here, right? There's model one, the older QR code format. There's micro and there's also GS1. And you can see if I change the QR code model, it's gonna make the code look a bit different. Uh, you can do other uh, differences like change the QR code uh, version. Uh, by default, it's automatic, but if you take that off, you can use a specific version. And you can also uh, change the, um, change it around a bit in other ways. So uh, let's not get into too much detail. Now your other options here are micro QR code. I don't think it'll hold a URL, but let's try. No, uh, this one uh, doesn't work, doesn't like just URLs, so use a different one. So QR code would be the most popular choice. The other one uh, is data matrix. I actually really like data matrix. It was also released in 1994. And it uh, is good when it is printed small. It's got very good readability. Um, so you can select data. So firstly, select data matrix as your protocol. You can see here it's saying that the protocol was changed, so we're gonna have to erase the data. So just put that URL back on your clipboard and we're now gonna have a data matrix code. So you can see it looks a bit different from the QR code. Um, and again, by clicking into properties, we can change some details of this like there is a square model and there is also a rectangular model. We can change the size um, of the code. So if I go to large, let's say, this is gonna increase the size of the code and you can just increase your label so that the URL code fits. Final one, let's look at, well, there's a couple more, uh, may as well be complete here. PDF 417 can definitely do URLs. Uh, so if I just erase this again and copy this, this is a PDF 417 barcode that has a, that's just the, the same URL uh, here. Something I like to do, I know I'm a strange, just a little bit from the topic here. The barcoding system that I use or the inventory software I use gives, gives assets, uh, asset IDs. So the labels I'm printing have the URL uh, for when you're on the local network as this only works locally or these codes will only resolve locally. And then I like to print the asset ID and this is the format that I'm using. I think it looks quite decent. Okay, uh, final one to look at is uh, two more, if I'm not mistaken. We also have um, options for the Aztec code. We can do a URL in Aztec. Let's just do a URL in Aztec. This is our URL in the Aztec code. And finally, there is, which one did we not do? Oh yes, maxi code. Maxi code comes out to be quite big, but uh, I'll do the URL anyway, and you can see how see what I mean. It's kind of a big barcode, so you just need to extend your uh, extend your paper a little bit, and you can still print it. 
and maxi codes have kind of got this intriguing little design here so i think a lot of it's up to you know might be a convention in your in your system or you might have a personal visual preference uh, but this is how you've got a few options here for doing different uh, barcode urls making them up in ptouch editor brothers labeling software